Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shaw Craft One and my old barn door. And I am still playing with my coffee dyeing stuff. I have lots of things to coffee dye. So I thought I would just turn the video on and let it play while I'm doing it. <clears throat> so I need um, to coffee dye some of this grid paper. So I have found that the fastest way to do it is to dip it in a bucket. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna scoot that over and I am going to take this apart because I don't need the cover, okay? So I'm just gonna find the center. Here we go. Uh-oh, oh no, I lost my blade. Okay, got it fixed. All right, and then I'm just going to cut the strings. So, cut your strings and get your notebook taken apart, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my notebook taken apart. And so now, I am just going to dip it, just like it is, in some coffee dye, or in some coffee. Okay, so I have my gross bucket because I've already done one. I did notebook paper and it's actually in the oven drying right now. <laughs> so hopefully I can show y'all that in a minute. Oh, sorry for jiggling the camera. Okay, so here's my gross bucket. <laughs> you can see where I've been coffee dyeing. I got this tub at um, the Dollar General store. Here's the tag so you know what to look for. It's just a dish pan. Um, I guess I could take the dish pan tag off, but I kind of left them on so I could show y'all what I, you know what I was using and where I got it from. Okay, so I'm just gonna sit this um, in my pan. I'm gonna kind of do it like this. And this is about a half of a pot of coffee, okay? And then I put about six of these scoops of the instant coffee which I got from the dollar store too. Okay, and so, I'm gonna move my scissors out of the way. So we're just gonna take our coffee. I'm just gonna brush off my brush here real quick. Okay, this is a cheap, inexpensive, probably a dollar store notebook. So the grid lines will, you know, they'll kind of fade. But I like that look, so I don't mind it. Um, so I'm just going to take my coffee and pour some into my tub, okay? And then I'm gonna take my brush. Actually, I'm gonna just kind of flip it around some. Now, you, if you wanna wear gloves, go right ahead. I just don't like, I don't work well with gloves on, so. So I'm just gonna separate some of the pages and kind of do it like this so that I can get everything coffee dyed. And if, you know, if your notebook comes apart, that's okay too. Just have yourself a, a little piece of parchment paper sitting beside you that you can sit it on. So I'm gonna fold this out and just lay that on that parchment paper there. Okay, while I'm still flipping my notebook. Okay, see this one's come apart. So we'll go ahead and fold it out. Maybe. There we go. See how the grid lines kind of fade? But I think that looks cool like that. Okay. And you just want to kind of keep dipping it to get all of your white spaces. Um, but I actually like some variation. Um, like, see how it does that? But if you if you soak it good enough in the coffee, it's going to soak through the pages. There we go. And then I'm going to lay that down in there. Put this. Let's separate this and see if... Uh, See, we've got white spots in the middle, which sometimes I like to leave the white spots in the middle. And sometimes I will take 
my brush and just brush a little coffee on because that gives you a good variation in your dyeing. Okay. It's messy, but if you like getting messy, it's kind of fun. <laughs> All right. And put that on our parchment paper. And now see, we've given that time to soak in. I'm just gonna kind of swish my coffee around in my pan. And see, like, excuse me, I had a sneeze that snuck up on me. All right, so we've just, we wet that. And then we're gonna separate a few more pages. Let's see how we get the white spots in the middle. So I'm just gonna dip that. Dip that. Okay. I'm just going to lay that on my parchment. We're going to separate a few more. And once it becomes you know good and wet it kind of becomes like working a little bit with fabric you just have to be a little more careful with it so you don't rip it okay It's pretty messy, but it's a quick way to do this process instead of having to do it one sheet at a time. Uh, my suggestion would be to not, um, don't wait until you're completely out and you need it right then um, because the drying process, you can, you can do it two ways. You know, you can either dry it in the oven or a lot of times I'll sit it on my, I have a covered porch, so I'll sit it on my covered porch for several days and let it start drying. And I just kind of let it stay out there and dry on its own. Okay. I'm gonna just dip that. Dip that. Now, it's not meant to be beautiful, it's meant to be grungy. Um, Cause that's what I'm going for with this. So, okay, and then a little bit more here, and I just kind of move my coffee around in my pan. Uh, make sure you use a pan that you don't care if it's going to get stained, because as you can see, it's going to stain. <laughs> it, it's it's a little messy, but that's okay. All right, so now I have. You know, in just a few minutes, I have that whole notebook done. All right, so let me show you. I probably shouldn't sit that on the camera stand, just like that, okay? So now I'm gonna just let this sit on my porch and let it dry, or I might throw it in the oven while I'm, you know, drying my coffee dyed paper. Look, y'all, I'm gonna have stained hands, but that's okay. So hang on for me. Let me move this, and we'll move on. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to do a whole book, okay, because I need this book because we're going to be making some pockets here in the next couple of videos, mm, and I want some of it coffee up. Ooh, I love finding pieces of paper. Oh, look. It's an old receipt. I love that. See, this is totally going in a journal. <laughs> okay, so let me just make sure there's nothing else in my book here. This is just an old Reader's Digest. I know we all have a million of these laying around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this same bowl of coffee and I'm just gonna pour it in, okay? And then I'm just gonna take my book and I'm gonna start dipping it. And I don't mind if every page of this book gets coffee dyed or not. And I don't mind if all of it, you know, like the whole page gets coffee dyed simply because 
um, I'm going to be using them to make pockets and it's not going to matter. Um, but I just, you know, wanted to get a little bit of coffee staining on it. Um, so I'm just laying it in and dipping it in, you know, a few pages at a time. Probably be easier if I turn it this way. Yeah, to give me a little more room. So I'm just dipping, I'm pulling it up. Dipping, pulling it up, dipping. So that's pretty much the process of doing a whole book. Um, simple and easy. And then, like I say, you can either you can put it in the oven. I wouldn't suggest putting a book like this in the oven because you've got you still have the glue on the spine and stuff, and <laughs> you might start a fire. So for these, I just let them sit out on my front porch. I have a little table out there. I put some parchment paper on it, sit it on the front porch, and let it air dry for a few days. Now, every now and then, you're gonna wanna go out there, flip through the pages, see how you know the drying process is coming along, and um, you know just kind of separate your pages and stuff so it'll dry better. And it takes, you know, it'll take it several days to dry, and eventually, you know, you could take your book apart and put you a few pieces in the oven if you, you know, if you're in a hurry for some pages or whatever. Um, you could go ahead and dry them that way. So it's kind of, it's basically up to you, however you want to do it. Um, well, I like that map page. Let's do that one. <laughs> so, and these are good for collage. They're good for pockets pretty tags pretty much anything you want to do with them they're good for so so y'all have to excuse me probably in the next few videos but I will probably have hands that look dirty because they're probably going to be coffee stained but that's okay and again like I say I don't have to have every single page coffee dyed because some of the pages I'll just use regular but this is a quick and easy way uh, to get a whole book dyed because if y'all are like me, you've got 40,000 of these Reader's Digest books laying around and you need to do something with them. So if you go ahead and do this and let it be dry and then it'll be ready for you when you get ready to do a project with it. You know, make tags or pockets or um, whatever. So anyways, that is how I coffee dye whole books at one time if you have any comments or questions you can leave them in the comment box below don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you will and i hope you have a great day and i'll come back and we'll do some i'm going to do some um some pages that have markings on them i think in the next video so thanks y'all big hugs